Palmer was shot just a short while ago. Jack Bauer is back. Someone out there knows I'm still alive. They're setting me up to take the fall for Palmer's assassination. And the only thing you can be sure of... I'm issuing an executive order for the arrest of Jack Bauer. ...is nothing is what it seems. The fact that you're alive presents problems for both of us. Yes, Mr. President. Now, the only thing more shocking than how this day begins... Terrorists are in possession of a weaponized nerve gas. Now it's being used against civilian targets in Los Angeles. It's where it will end. Jack is innocent. He's being set up. Set up by whom? We got the evidence. You understand what this means? We're talking about taking down the President of the United States. The fifth unforgettable season on DVD. Don't miss a second. I'm the greatest trial attorney that ever lived. You will not be me. You have a job to do, and so do I. My is to cross-examine people like you and crush them. Is that fair? I don't understand the question. Men sometimes find me attractive. From time to time, they'll even hit on me. It's all deeply rewarding, but you, you're hot. Sorry to interrupt, Brad Chase. I like to be straight up with people, and if there's an issue or conflict, let's address it head on, if you don't mind. I have trouble talking that fast. This is my daughter. She tried out for the national tour of Annie, and she was passed over because she was black. What's your case about, Brad? It involves interference with contractual relations. You mean lesbians? You like saying I do. Say it again. Let's keep going. Lesbian, lesbian. All together now. Lesbian. I also like to watch. Hello, Mr. Criminal. What are you charged with? Murder. You got yourself a top of the line, criminal. Miriam has a criminal case. Can I count on your sensitivity? She's charged with engaging in sexual conduct for a fee. You're a hooker. I'm now before nine presumably intelligent people in the justice business, and you don't care. Mr. Crane, I'm not following your argument. That's because you're a moron. You are in contempt. Mr. Shore, until we meet again. Yes, Your Honor. She's attracted to me. That ruling was suspect. I think a judge. Here's a health tip. Walk away. Why would I do that? First of all, I would never, ever do anything like that. Never. Secondly, if I did, I would never, ever tell you. Never. an organization that killed 1,200 people a day. Dad, I want to see what you do. The message Hollywood needs to send out is smoking is cool. You can put the sex back into cigarettes. Get a flight to LA. I'll get you a meeting with Hollywood super agent Jeff McGall. But what we need is a smoking role model, a real winner. Indiana Jones meets Sherry McGuire. Right, on two packs a day. We sell cigarettes, and they're cool, available, and addictive. The job is almost done for us. This is a heated issue. Nick, do you have a question? How on earth would Big Tobacco profit off of the loss of this young man? It's in our best interest to keep Robin alive and smoking. What happens when you're wrong? Enjoy, that's the beauty of argument. Because if you argue correctly, you're never wrong. Michael Jordan plays ball. Charles Manson kills people. I talk. Thank you for smoking. Sony has a futuristic sci-fi movie they're looking to make. Cigarettes in space. It's the final frontier, Nick. But wouldn't they blow up in an all-oxygen environment? Probably. But it's an easy fix. One line of dialogue. Thank God we invented the, you know, whatever device. 